Although I have not spoken to President Bia since I visited there several years ago, but I, I also believe that uh, he's not going to take any action beyond what's happening right now. Uh, I know that he has advisors who are telling him that he should uh, engage in the peace process, but he has other advisors which are telling him that no, we need to increase the military effort and just crush the, uh, the secession. Um, another point that I have made over and over again is that it's going to be the Cameroonian community that's going to have to come up with the solution. That this is not an issue that the international community is going to solve for you. I know that's disappointing and I know so many members of the community have the list of grievances, including uh, the historical grievances going back to 1961 and various historical and academic points of view. And I tell people that uh, we need to de deal with reality, the way the world works, not the way we want the world to work. So those people who, you know, issue paper after paper that, you know, the international community needs to get active, the international community needs to solve this. I, I tell you, that is not going to be done. So it's going to be up to the Cameroonian community to be the, the key for any solution. I want to mention one other thing about the, um, the Swiss process. Uh, I have said before that uh, I, I don't have much faith in that process. Uh, I also know that the people involved in that on the Swiss side are very well intentioned. Uh, they have goodwill. They have put a lot of energy into it, but right now it's not going anywhere. Uh, unfortunately, the Cameroonian government can point to the Swiss process and say that if the opposition gets its act together, that we will engage with them in serious negotiations. I believe that at a minimum, the opposition needs to at least participate even if we do not believe that that's going to lead anywhere just to make the Cameroonian government uh, step up or shut up. Because as long as the opposition does not participate in the process, the Cameroonian government has what we call in the United States a fig leaf of, of legitimacy to say that they are ready to engage, but it's the other side that is not. So if the Swiss uh, organize a conference, then I believe that it's incumbent on the community to respond positively and at least participate. Instead of one group saying, oh, I'm not going to go if that other group goes, or at the last minute finding some excuse not to participate. Um, but as I said, honest to goodness, I, I, I'm not at all uh, optimistic that that will lead anywhere because, I, as I said before, I don't believe the Cameroon government is acting in good faith. Now, uh, talking about solutions, um, what, I have, what I have said and what I continue to believe is that the solution with the community lies in a couple of broad topics. Uh, topic one, number one is unity. I know that there are various interim governments. There are various other groups, some favor uh, federation, constitutional reform, constitutionalist, confederation, independence, etc., etc. So I know that there cannot be 100% unity in approach but I do believe that there could be 100% unity in the desired outcome for the benefit of the people on the ground. And if I was in the Cameroonian community, I would focus on finding those areas where there is agreement and focus on those and leave the modalities to later in the process. Because if you want to start getting a solution, then it's absolutely essential to act from a point of view of unity. So those people who do not want to see a solution cannot use your disunity 
to their advantage. So, so number one for me is unity. For many of you, the issue of Southern Cameroons is your priority number one, two, three, four, five in life. And that's how it should be. But for America at large, the issue of the Cameroons does not even come up on the radar screen. You know, not only is it not a front burner issue, it is not a back burner issue. And quite frankly, I wonder if the pot is even on the stove. Uh, I, I get extremely frustrated when I hear from the Cameroonian community that they are waiting for the international community to solve the problem. And I keep telling people the brutal truth is that the international community is not going to solve the problem. Well, I guess uh, uh, the message is now settling down uh, among most Amazonians because uh, we we'll see what is going on uh, in Ukraine.